Hello everybody, I'm Brian. And I'm Brian. And this is Brian vs. Brian, episode 199. Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Brought to you by the Mad Max Company. <laughs> uh, directed by George Miller. Did it, did it, did it, And this is, this is a new one, so we got a uh, 24th of May. Uh, and uh, budget... 168 million box office so far 58.9 million uh bu- 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 George Miller he did all of them even the originals right that's the original yeah, yeah. guy yeah okay he's like 80 now i think <laughs> ah wow. wow crazy wow still milking this bad boy it's all i got baby mhm y'all like mad max yeah, he went from uh, uh, like big, Babe, Pig in the City, and Happy Feet One and Two, and then he did Fury Road. It's like, what, what the fuck? That's so wild. Pig in the City, baby. Uh, okay, so we get the prequel to Fury Road. Um, because we all know that needed a prequel, so we gotta know what happened before that. <laughs> uh, nothing. No one knows how this world this I guess this one kind of gives you a little bit of the most about why this happened and what's going on. In the beginning it gets the uh the little radio broadcast. It was like right. war, famine, and it's becoming a wasteland. Marauders. And it's like that's the most you'll ever get out of a Mad Max as to what happened, why we're here. Yeah, what the fuck? It's... <laughs> that's the only thing you get because this is the third movie I think that does it. So the Road Warrior starts with a monologue that's basically what you're describing. It's the same thing. It's just a narrator. It's not in a radio. It's like a narrator describing how we got there. And then the Fury Road. I actually, I think Furiosa and Fury Road had the same exact opening, the same exact radio broadcast, the same exact B-roll footage that they mm. show. I think it's almost like because I watched Fury Road right before Furiosa. And that is in fear. That's how Fear Road opens. It's like, like you're talking about. So it's kind of interesting that he used the same intro for both movies. <clears throat> yeah, then he uses the beginning of the movie for the end of this movie. Mm-hmm. It's like a, it's like the old school. Some movies did it, like Friday the Thirteenth. I remember they'd replay like the first, the last ten minutes or something of the last yeah. one or something, <laughs> and then move you into the sequel. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I missed that. That's cool. I like. It's that. like a previously on movie version. Yeah. <laughs> previously, I wish more movies would Max. do that because it's like <laughs> out of all the superhero movies, when there's like four fucking sequels and they're so spread out, and you go to watch the fourth one, you're like, what happened in this? Like the the fact that movies are above you know previously on like tv shows do it like why can't a movie just be like all right and the last this is what's going on in the Mar- marvel cinematic universe Here, here's like a little three minute thing i wish they would do that yeah oh uh, so it's a, we got a da, 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 da. we got a, a a a paradise start off with two little girls picking uh i don't know peaches peaches yeah it's a futuristic blood peach. It's very juicy. <laughs> Furiosa, let's go back. No, I want one more peach. From the top of the plant is the sweetest. <laughs> closest to the sun. And then uh, they see something. Some marauders with motorcycles. And this is kind of a weird scene because you never... It's like oh, there's plants and shit. You never see plants in these movies. It's like this yeah. it just seems weird to see these motorcycles and these guys. Um, and Furiosa and her little sister, and she says, stay here. So, I don't remember. Still as a rock till I yep. return. Be invisible. <laughs> so, yeah, be, what do you yeah. mean be invisible? <laughs> She's like, be invisible. And then she starts climbing down the rock and her big ass necklace is jangling on the rock. Ching, ching, yeah. ching. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> uh, and she goes down there. I don't know why. She goes down there just to cut the the, the gas, gas line, lines yeah. on the motorcycles for what? To trap them here? You yeah. don't want them here, but you're going to trap them here. Hey, you can't leave. Get out of here. <laughs> you know? I don't get it. Uh, so she's cutting them. And she gets caught. Of course you get caught, dude. You're like fucking 10 feet away from these dudes. Yeah. Walking around with a giant necklace. Ching, ching, ching. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking you're fucking solid snake over here. I don't know what they were doing. I couldn't tell whether they were like beating someone or st- I don't know. 
Steve they were um they had they were huddled a, around a something. horse or something they were oh yeah yeah they're chopping like, up a horse oh yeah because they said they got the horse meat when they say that though later when they're riding all i see them with is the head that's yeah. the best meat the head <laughs> <laughs> it's like what <sighs> that's not the part we want to eat uh do, 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 do. so they grab her um tie her up Oh, but before that, she runs a little bit as they're trying to chase her. She's got a fucking dog whistle or something. Yeah. <laughs> a little... <laughs> God damn, it's not very loud, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Back in the village, some mom... Yeah. With do- <laughs> Stands up. With, with dog ears, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's this little shitty whistle. <laughs> My God. <laughs> <laughs> Sound the alarm, the alarm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be quiet. Be quiet. Um, she goes chasing after them, right? Two of them. Yeah, she jumps on the back of a horse. This other woman, they just ride off. Yeah, off and they horse. got like a fucking sniper <laughs> rifle and some other weapons. And uh, she snipes one off the uh, the bike, <laughs> blast them off. Oh shit! They're all running. Uh. And so she takes that bike and separates from the other woman for some reason. Okay, I'll go alone. Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> can yeah, only be back. one of us. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's only, only one of us can go. Uh, bu- 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 and yeah, she's continued to chase him down. Uh, she's trying to stop them. You know, she's like, you have to stop them before they reach wherever they're going. No one can know about this place. This is paradise. Um... So she's chasing him down. She kills more of them. Never is quite catching up to him, even though they're stopping and doing stupid shit. It's like, just go fast the whole time. I think you'll catch him. Yeah. Just don't slow up. And then uh, they're going to their little village. And she can see it with the binoculars. They're getting close. She snipes one off. And there's, I think, one left. Uh, she doesn't get him. Yeah, he right? ride, Yeah, he rides in Yeah, with her, with Furiosa. <clears throat> yep. Where have you been? Oh, uh, look what I found. It's a little one. And all this oh, yeah. shit. Uh, we found a place of abundance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what is abundance? Oh, yeah. That scene with the war boy. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> uh, abundance. Yeah. And he wants to tell. Who's the guy who wants to tell? Anyway, I forget the guy's name. Dementis. Do you remember? You saw yeah, it. Oh Dementis. yeah. Oh yeah. It is Dementis. I forgot that. That's who we first see him. It's such a dope name. <laughs> I love that. My name. lips to Dementis. Yeah. <laughs> and Dementis seems like a pretty nice guy. This part of the movie. Yeah, he's you know, got the he's little kinda, like he's almost like Jesus he, in a way. He's got the beard yeah, he, and the little white. Clothes. He wears all. He's got all white, and he seems nice. Yeah. Hello, little one. I'll protect you. Where is, what do we have tell, here? <laughs> <laughs> where are you from? And I didn't understand. Uh, what? Because I, I thought Dementis was the the mask character from Fury Road. I oh, thought eventually, I yeah. thought eventually we'd get there, mm-hmm. and uh, he would be that. Not what happened. Completely wrong on that. And uh, <laughs> so then I'm wondering, okay, why does he have all this prosthesis on? I thought he was trying to be someone from the first movie or something, but no. It's just yeah. a fake nose and all this to be a fake nose. Have a little <laughs> just, fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just act a little wackier, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Adds to my performance, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's just some weird Australian accent guy. I don't know. I guess maybe it uh, helps you not see Chris Hemsworth. I think so, yeah. If it would, so, just would have so been much. Chris Hemsworth, it... I don't know if it would have been distracting because I think his performance, you know, is kind of a little larger than life. I think it would have been fine. But it does add that little, like, distance between us and and knowing that it's Chris Hemsworth. Because he does look different with that huge-ass fucking nose. (laughs) Yeah. Dementis and then uh, Abundance. And then yeah, he's got the what's the guy? Hell's the guy's name? Dictionary, (laughs) the human. Oh yeah, yeah, like the writing (laughs) all over him or whatever. Yeah, and he just he's there to define things. And anyways, they take her into custody, and she never gives up 
where she's from. Her mom comes in there trying to get her right. Yeah. Um, in the middle she of the won't night. give up. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. She won't give up where they're from. Oh yeah, she of course she fucks it up by sparing the woman. Yeah. There she says you fucked up right there, Never dude. Do that. Uh -huh. yeah. No, no, don't <laughs> trust her. You take her out, just like everyone else. Uh, yeah. So then they capture her and torture her on a tree over a fire or some shit. It's pretty. Yeah, weird. I was. I've seen this movie twice. I have no fucking idea what they're doing because it's obscured. They're doing something to her stomach or. Her lady parts. They're doing something down there because her chest, yeah. they're like, like the, that's untouched. So, but they're like prodding her from the breast underneath. And I'm just like, what is happening? This is kind of fucking yeah. weird. Is this insinu it's the insinuation of violence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep. A killer, and they make a Furiosa watch. No, keep your eyes on it. <laughs> uh, Yeah, and then we get more of, of them on the road with baby, or not baby, but young Furiosa. Um, he's starting to kind of treat her well, gives her the teddy bear that was his yeah. kids. You know, he protects her. He's not letting like anybody um, attack her or hurt her. So really, I don't know what she brings to the table, why they're keeping her. Mm -hmm. Uh. It's just kind of like a daughter figure for him, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of um, how I interpret it. Yeah, giving her the teddy bear. It's he says something about this belonging to my kids. So yeah, yeah. I, I assumed it was just kind of like a a replacement for something that he had lost. That's kind of how I took it. <clears throat> yeah, and then we got the the human dictionary guy. Uh, you make yourself valuable to Dementor, and then you'll be protected. Yeah, and uh, I can't remember when we get introduced to him but i like the uh t -t 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 what do they call it the human mechanic oh yeah yeah the blood the blood doctor guy is that what you're talking about it, it's oh no the organic mechanic the organic <laughs> mechanic, yeah. it's a doctor yeah the doctor i'm the organic mechanic <laughs> uh, yeah so um how do they remember how do they figure out about the the citadel they're talking to a group or something right and it's like Ooh, what is this citadel oh yeah they're just like riding around and they see a big red oh yeah signal and then they like should we that go guy with it? a yeah, fucking arrow in his head <laughs> yeah. am i valhalla what's valhalla valhalla <laughs> in the <Yeah>. dictionary <laughs> uh yeah that guy was pretty funny um the arrow in his fucking head the citadel and so they go there and he tries to take it over listen here citadel <laughs> yeah that's pretty good <laughs> i'll put extra you know extra stew in your goblet <laughs> extra gasoline in your tank and we'll rule this land together <laughs> i gotta say chris chris hemsworth is this movie uh he's so good yeah it's other than him, I don't know. I, I didn't find Adult Furiosa very intriguing or good. Mm. The little bit of lines she gets. Um, definitely no Charlize Theron. That's for sure. Um, I like the mask bad guy. I forget his name. You know, he doesn't have much either, but everything he does and says is just so cool. Just the yeah, fucking yeah. visual of him. <laughs> That fucking I don't know what that is. That hood breather and the plastic apparatus suit yeah, with all the metal. We have, for some... <laughs> we have no fucking idea what the hell it is or does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his sons were pretty funny. Uh, what were they called? Bunghole and like ball sack. Oh yeah, something. Scrotus and Rectus. I think <laughs> my name is Scrotus. <laughs> Scrotus and Rectus. So, anyways, he tries to pick a fight with the. Did you do you know that guy's name? You're big on this. Fury Road, the fucking yeah. mask guy. Oh, uh, oh yeah, it's uh, Morton Joe. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what kind of name is that? Hey, Morton <laughs> Joe. <laughs> I think you'd have a more ruthless name. Morton Joe, hey, name's Joe. How you doing? <laughs> Welcome to the Citadel. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he tries to pick a fight with him, and he says, uh, pick one of these war boys. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What if I... Choose not to pick. 
<laughs> Choose the traveler. <laughs> I am heel pick. <laughs> he just picks one. Like and then I love his man. He's like, yeah. Picks one. No, to the right. <laughs> the other. And then uh, Joe's like, you've been, whatever. You've been summoned. Flies down there across the wires and drops down. Kamikaze and... bombs him. Now that's just one of my two thousand war boys willing to die. <laughs> hmm. Point taken. <laughs> we'll be on our seems way now. I'm, <laughs> seems I may have underestimated the Citadel's defenses. <laughs> we bid you adieu. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. He uh, tries to leave and kind of gets fucked up. And I don't remember when do they... Uh... Oh, I, I think he's able to leave that time, right? And then he goes and takes over the... Um, gas town, gas town, or not necessarily takes it over at that point, but like rigs it with a bomb, like he's gonna blow it up. Is that how we get? Yeah, back? yeah. So the after the war boy go, yeah, after the like you know, pick anyone at random and they'll defend the citadel with their life or whatever. They, the Morton Joe basically says, "All right, fuck these guys." And so there's like a little squirmish there, and uh, Dementis saves Furiosa, which I kind of liked. Like I think at one point there's like a cannibal. There's like a cannibal couple under the under the citadel. They're trying to drag her underneath. Anyways, Dementis t- or, uh, saves her, and then they go right off. And so they start staking out. They find Gas Town and start staking it out, and notice that some of the citadel's trucks are going to and from the Gas Town. And so they devise a plan to um, to mask their own people as war boys and go back to gas town to kind of infiltrate the which i thought was kind of a fun he's like take off your mask and they're like i don't take orders from you i take orders from well, i don't remember what the guy in the black like there was like the yeah actions within his army yeah so that was kind of fun um but yeah, anyways they end up infiltrating gas town and then they send a message to the citadel with like a a, a finger and a, and a ring of the guy who was running gas town and then, um, yeah, then they set up a meeting, which, man, that meeting is is pretty fun. A lot of good stuff in that meeting. Yeah, he goes to the meeting, and uh, Joe's like, man, so to search them for weapons, and we will have our meeting, and then he will die. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. So he goes, how you doing, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, let me tell you, I've rigged gas down to blow. <laughs> And the only person that knows the six-digit code is in this cranium here. <laughs> <laughs> so don't try anything funny. And meanwhile, he has the gas town guy on this contraption. It's like a spear, but the spear is connected like to his nipples. Like a... <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't remember but... that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like there's like strings that are atta- the, to, the, to his nipples. I think his n- nose or his ear. And then when he lets it go, his fucking nipples rip out and they start bleeding. And he's like, woo I was like, "What was the, you're just so fucking weird that you just wanted to do that? It's so bizarre." What the fuck are you talking about? He, he had the thing on his head. I don't remember the nipples, but he's holding no, Chris, the thing, Chris right? Hemsworth attaches oh, the spear he... to hit to Crim's Hemsworth's nipples, and then when he lets it go, rips Dementis's nipples off, and then his his uh. nipples start bleeding. Yeah. Oh, okay. I remember him bleeding. I don't remember. I thought he got electrocuted or something. Does he get electrocuted? Because you remember. It's like, oh, I can't remember. Remember, you shouldn't electrify the man that's holding the code in his head. <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. Uh, yeah, they're negotiating. and uh, I want... Uh, what is he I want double our gruel. Double our gasolines. <laughs> and uh, all this stuff. And... Uh, Joe doesn't seem very interested until... He kind of realizes that uh, he he can actually blow up Gastown, and he's got this little girl. That kind of piques his interest. He's like, I want the girl, I want the organic mechanic, mm-hmm. and I'll increase your food rations by 25, and gas by 30% or something. Um, so he takes the girl, and he seems to have more... Uh, nefarious intent for the girl because yeah. he's like 
yeah, you'll one day become one of our wives and takes her to this vault. They have a fucking actual vault and all this shitty, it's like a fucking yeah. bank vault. And yeah, puts her in there. Then there's the other women in there. Um, the concubines. And the organic mechanic is like helping one give birth. And is it a boy or a girl? Uh, somewhat. Yeah. <laughs> it's got like four legs and shit. I swear I can give you a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty gnarly. <laughs> yeah. Because they're all just, I don't know, irradiated to shit or something. Mm -hmm. Something's going on out in this wasteland. Um. Yeah. And she's got to escape this place. Oh, yeah, but the, 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 the son, the rectum, kind of shows some interest in her. Yeah. A little, yeah, creepy. a little creepy vibe, and then tries to go steal her. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, she... And no one's allowed to do this. Like, he will get in trouble, right? Because yeah, they're no all waiting. To touch them, to yeah. Us, yeah, until till they're older, and I don't know, there's specific rules about their wives um and i think she gets away oh yeah how does she get away she like I, she's like making an es what's that called escape from alcatraz type fucking fake bodies like it seems like yeah she, she's like she making the hair shaves her head off or shaves her head off she shaves her hair off and then like pieces her hair together and makes like a wig because he likes the he likes to dangle the little bells on the back of her hair mm. so she uses that as like a she like shows shows him the bell and then he starts fucking with it and then she like runs off and her hair slips away yeah, yeah. And then she's able to hide, like on the inside of the pipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like the brothers. Like, what are you doing out here? Nothing. Yeah. Thought I saw somebody <laughs> running through here. Uh, what are you doing? I had nothing. I, I was dreaming it. I got. <laughs> I got to go. Dream. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I don't understand. Like, she doesn't leave. She just starts, uh. You don't really know what happens because the next time, do we see her pretending to be a boy in that young phase again? Yeah, just one. It's very brief. There's, uh, I think when she's holding onto the pipe, she like fades away, and then we cut to her hair on the branch. And there's like a time lapse, and you see her mm -hmm. hair kind of turning. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, we cut to there's a moment. There's like a storm happening, and they're trying to raise a truck, and the truck starts to snap. And so one of the guys is like, send one of the weaklings or whatever. And then she gets picked out of the lineup and she has a shaved head. She's all dirty and shit. And then she jumps out there and saves the truck. And then the guy huh. gives her the gloves and says, like, you're the new, uh, what do they call them? I don't know, whatever the mechanics are called in that universe. And then we cut to um, a new chapter, I think, because this movie's, you know, in chapters. And then when we get out of that chapter title card, then we're. Then it's uh, Anya Taylor Joy. Yeah. Um, and she's like, no one. She's like pretending to be a boy. Never leaves. Just kind of okay. I'll just. Life's not too bad here if you're one of the war boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. And then she almost has a close call with the, the rectus again. Who oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. You're very scrawny, but your skin is soft like a lady. He's <laughs> <laughs> like rubbing on her. Yeah. And Leave him be. Like, Leave him alone. Yeah. <laughs> we got that boy has been, <laughs> been through enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I don't know why or how. Like she, she's on this run with the kind of like a furiosa guy does the black smear on the top of his head i don't know who that yeah. did like i can't remember what they call him he's like one of the best uh road runners yeah he's, he's just a he's a guy who does runs he survived over a hundred runs on yeah. fury road <laughs> fury road yeah so i guess i don't know you paint your face like that if you're a badass at that um and he's working She's working with him, and then we get the scene where like we're gonna build the best. We got two V eights, and that was pretty cool. That one motorcycle they're talking about is like this seven cylinder motorcycle. Oh <laughs> with yeah, the yeah. Engine that comes all around. Uh, yeah, and then they got to build this big ass truck, and that was pretty cool. And the back end that swings the balls. Um, 
it would be called the copy bobbler. <laughs> yeah, something. yeah, I forget what it was called, but yeah. <laughs> something stupid. Uh, and then there's that little war boy, uh, little person that lives in the back of the tank. Yeah, he's like, popping up. Hey! <laughs> hey! Can we use the bobby cobbler yet? <laughs> no! Start it now! <laughs> it's like just sitting there with cabbages, cabbages. and shit. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, uh, God. And they real they later put the lever up front. They realize we don't need a little <laughs> person yeah. back here with the fucking lever. Uh, that guy looked to me like that kid from that video who's getting made fun of at school. You ever seen that? Uh-uh. He's like crying. Ah, I'm pretty sure it's him because I heard it was fake and that person was an actor. It's like now I think they are an actor because yeah. <laughs> I have. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, seen them in this movie, but anyways, uh, yeah, that part was pretty funny, pretty cool. The one time he gets to shine and turn it on and gets shot, and yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> she opens it up, yeah. he's just dead in there with the white, <laughs> whatever they fucking do, they spray paint their teeth before they die. Yeah, you gotta have your teeth gotta be pearly white for the next life. <laughs> Which I, it doesn't seem like it does anything. I thought I remembered like. In the other movie, when you did that, I don't know, it was some sort of adrenaline shot or something. Like, it gave you a boost. But I guess not. No, <laughs> it's just I think strictly it's just like, whitening yeah. your face. <laughs> yeah. I thought I remember like them doing that. Like, oh! yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyways. There's some good stuff with battles on this uh, truck and explosions and stuff. I didn't like... Um, I don't know. I thought there was a lot of CG, and I wasn't yeah, that into it, especially totally. for the last movie being so practical. Yeah. Uh, it's this very one, noticeable in this, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a lot of CG. It'd be, usually, you could, it's like a real vehicle with real actors zoomed in, mm-hmm. and then fake everything, backgrounds, and then you zoom out to a fake vehicle, and just it's very little seemed tangible to me. Which uh, r- I really noticed when they started playing clips at the end of Fury Road. Yeah, they yeah. They were playing clips real. of fucking real bikes <laughs> jumping over the... I'm like, holy shit, yeah, fuck, yeah. this sucked. <laughs> what the fuck? We- <laughs> look how good yeah. that looks. Like, all the shots looked better. Yeah. And just, cl- I don't know, they, the cinematography looked better, looked cleaner. I was like, man, that looks awesome. I gotta yeah. watch that again. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, you could really tell the CG. Uh, and I did not enjoy it very much. Uh, that much of it. Um, I mean, fuck. Just make a couple cars and go out in the desert and let's break some shit. Let's blow up some shit. So, that was kind of disappointing. Um, I thought... At first, I'm watching it in the little girl Furiosa. I'm like, man, this is kind of boring. I was like, what's going on? I thought, when are we going to get like the adult you know, revenge quest going on? And then that started, and I realized that I liked the first half better mm. with the little girl and the like the story Dementous building. Him, yeah, everything. the more yeah. Dementous stuff and him coming into his own as the warlord and mm-hmm. his start versus um, Furiosa trying to go kill him. Um, yeah, I ended up liking that part more. I do like when we see him again because there is a large... Or not a large. There's a small section of the movie where we kind of focus more on Furiosa and uh, I don't remember. Like I, I know his last name is Jack, but to your point, I don't remember what the title is because everyone has a title <clears throat> in their name. I don't remember what his title, but his name is Jack, the driver guy. So we kind of stick with them for a while. But when we do go back to Gastown after it's been a while, like Gastown is like gone to shit and he's like gray hair and he's just like fr- frantically running around and not really yeah, handling. Like it's so good. A lot of people say ca- town's gone to shit. <laughs> a lot of people blame me. <laughs> and it's not my fault. Okay? <laughs> I love how that's how we're in- reintroduced to him. Just He just pulls up. He's great hair. He's just frantically. Yeah. Good. It's so good. And they're getting gas. And like, you better get out of here while you can. <laughs> These people are going crazy. <laughs> oh. uh, yep. And uh, so... That's kind of her trying to find him, and then him trying to take down Joe to get the Citadel for some reason. 
Uh, so he's got the gas town. He ends up overtaking Bullet Town, where they make all the bullets. Yeah. And then uh, destroying it. Uh, <laughs> like, ah, goddamn. I destroyed Bullet Town the first day I was in charge of it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, he. Uh, I guess we're jumping forward, but when they when he captures Jack and Fury, that's one of the things he yells at at them for when they ha- when he captures them. He's like, "I had it for one day, and you fucked it everything. I, now it's all broken." But yeah, the whole uh, even though it is CG ridden, that whole bullet farm action sequence I thought was fucking awesome. I still thought the stowaway sequence was awesome, even though it is C- like the paragliding stuff. Like, there's a lot of cool ideas. Yeah, but yeah, it does. Like, you do have to just like get used to the fact that there's a lot of CGI. But the bullet farm sequence, I thought was, like, really fun. Yeah. It was okay. I liked it. Um, It is really tough when you're doing a CGI tanker that's chrome. You know what I mean? Yeah. Chrome ain't ain't good in the CGI, usually. It's it's so hard to do. But the whole tanker is fucking chrome. Um, Yeah, and I don't... It's kind of weird with the paragliders and all that. It's cool... But it's like, we've seen these movies before, and everyone's got rudimentary, shitty vehicles, and all of a sudden you're throwing in these things in a prequel. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like it's like Star Wars, when they start putting in crazy ships in prequel movies. It's like, where yeah. the fuck were these ships later? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, everyone's got a shitty motorcycle that's like from the 70s, and all of a sudden this guy has got a fucking paraglider with fucking missiles and shit. And it's got mechanical, like, fucking wings. Yeah, it was like a, uh, <laughs> a, a big, like, octopus-looking thing. on Because the, there was a big one with, like, a turret. Yeah. That one had, like, this huge, like, octopus trail thing. I was like, whoa. Yeah. It looked like the fucking submarine from episode one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah totally. Ah, <laughs> uh, the bonga. <laughs> yeah. And then that, so that epic fight kind of... That ends right. How, where do we? I'm trying. To yeah, they remember. they Furious and Jack escape Bullet Farm, which there's a great moment. Come on, Chris Hemsworth. She's sniping. He's like at a at a tower, I guess, a brick mm-hmm. tower, and she's sniping sniping at him. And he like takes a peek and it, it hits him, and he turns around Woo! and he gets all like excited about oh, it. Boy, yeah, <laughs> he's so good in this movie, man. Um, but yeah, they they escape, and then they and Dementis grabs his gang, and they they chase after him in the desert. <clears throat> oh yeah and then uh i don't remember what have they split up into threes or something and uh she's chasing after the three bike fucking chariot one which is usually dementis no that's at, the, that's, at the very, that's at the very end the the when they they capture the two of them and then like that's when we get the arm we figure out how she like lost her arm oh and yeah they, they torture the guy by like just dragging him for god knows how long and yeah and then she escapes so i that's one of the things I'm like, how did she is she's like tied up in the back of the truck and then you cut to her her arm dangling there and she's riding away in a motorcycle. I'm like, they didn't show her yeah. escaping that situation. I was like, eh, you could have done something. You know, what uh, I mean? nobody noticed that. Nobody because yeah. <laughs> they're circling that whole little truck that she's yeah. tied to. So I'm like, oh, boy, who's that prick leaving? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And then, and then, how does that happen? From her getting the bike to, she um, well, a we get a we get um a cameo from Mister Mad Max himself, which I don't know if it was necessary, but I guess it was kind of cool to see him. Um, but then yeah, is that fucking is Mel Gibson and what's his name the same person in this universe? Tom Hardy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's the same same Max, just different actors. This... The same character, yeah. but then we obviously get. I think they were leaning into that being the Mel Gibson version. Yeah, it was hard to I tell. Felt like I, I couldn't, I didn't recognize the actor because the camera so far away. I was like, "Who the fuck is that?" Because it was clearly an actor. It wasn't a CG character. I'm like, "Huh." But um, yeah. So she goes back to the Citadel and basically tells the Morton Joe what's going on with Dementis, and then um, she makes a mechanical arm. And meanwhile, they introduce the 40, 40 day uh, wasteland wars, I think is what they call them, which is the Dementis and the Citadel soldiers are just fighting out in the desert for 40 days. The movie kind of yada, yada, yada is that in like a montage form. 
Um, but then Furiosa eventually gets a car from the Citadel, drives down to the battlegrounds, and like all these bodies are everywhere. And she steals one of the guy's cars and rides off. And that's when Dementis is, um, notices that they're being chased and they split off in three different ways. And then she starts chasing, um, chasing them down. Yeah. Uh, yep. And then we get the final, um, confrontation uh was it 15 years ago do you remember my mother yeah, the, can i get a hint yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whack <laughs> she just punches him right away yeah and he's like you know i have a very high threshold for pain <laughs> yeah so we're gonna be here yeah. all ding day <laughs> <clears throat> and then i can't remember what gives um, her away as to who she is. He called her Little Dementor, Little D. Oh, little D. Yeah, I think it's when um he has a seizure randomly during the, the oh, yeah. torture, and he during that during when he's out, she like leans over him and notices the teddy bear, and she cuts the teddy bear off of his waist, and she's holding it. And then when he comes to, he looks up and sees her holding the teddy bear, and he puts two and two together. Little D, <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Little D. Look at you. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I like his explanation to the, the Joe guy earlier when he's like, no, he's not my father. He tortured my mother and killed her. Why, well, I did, did that for her. Yeah, <laughs> on purpose, yeah. <laughs> so she could face the rigors of life. <laughs> She's strong enough to handle anything now. <laughs> um, yeah, and then... Uh, yeah, I think you don't know how he how she kills him. He's like because then we go into a voiceover. Some say that gunshot was too kind for him and shows yeah. him shooting him. Some say she tortured him for days and it shows him like over the fire tree kind of death. And I think it shows a different one too. I can't remember. Yeah, so her was. dragging him. It was like oh yeah, yeah, a more appropriate response because you know he dragged mm -hmm. you know Jack. Yeah, which apparently was her love interest. I mean, wasn't invested in that love interest very much. They touched foreheads once. Yeah, was the the, the extent of it. Um. Yeah, and then yeah, that's about it. Oh yeah, then we we tie it in very much so to Fury Road, which is uh her was it heading back to the Citadel and uh. Yeah, she Whoa. she goes into the vault and the the women that are standing there yeah, are the yeah, women yeah. that we recognize from Fury Road. And mm -hmm. then I think it's like the night before the events of Fury Road, but at night she's like sneaking them onto the war rig, and then that's when the the movie ends. <clears throat> yep, and then we get the clips of Fury Road, which look way better. <laughs> I was like, wow, that <laughs> looks great, dude. This movie looks good. Um. <clears throat> It's a big trailer for Fury Road. Go see Fury Road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. It's okay. Uh, I didn't really enjoy it that much. I thought it was a bit of a slog. I wasn't that interested in really anything going on other than the fucking amazingly wacky performance by Hemsworth. I thought that was amazing and great. Some of the car stuff's really fun and cool visuals, but... Fuck, the CG takes away from a lot of it, knowing how cool it is when they were really doing it. And that's kind of like his thing. He was known for that. Yeah. It's like, you know, he's kind of like James Cameron in that sense. You know, he's going to have some practical <clears throat> explosions and try and do everything in camera. So that was kind of strange. He's just getting too old to deal with that shit. He's CG it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've been reading this book. It's called blood sweat and chrome and it's the uh it's like a 400 page making of it's like a lot of interviews and stuff of the fury process of fury road and yeah man it sounds like that fury they were out in like the african desert for like nine months i think and i even though the, the end product is like one of the best action movies ever made i think the process of making that was horrible for including i mean he was 70 when he made that so when you come into this I mean, at one point, you got to be like, all right, we did it once and it almost killed all of us. So let's kind of make things a little easier this time because I'm 80. 
So I kind of episode understand. one, this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so from that perspective, I, I get it. But yeah, it is kind of a it is kind of jarring to go from the real, realism of Fury Road to to this. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I mean, I liked it, but I think Fury Road is definitely a lot better. I think the CG was distracting. I didn't r- particularly care for the story. Um, I like the be- I think the beginning half a little bit better. There's some good stuff in the second half too, but I really like the the Dementor kind of building up, and seeing him go from nothing to trying to be this warlord. Um, uh, John, to your point, I I love the um, I love the first like 20 minutes. I was not expecting oh, yeah. the movie to like start that way with the mom. Like it's a long process. It's probably yeah. Like, that was a really cool. Long. It was like a lot scene. of like, yeah. It was like it has a good pace to it. You're like wanting her to to get yeah. to the the that whole sequence. I thought was excellent. Oh yeah, and the the whole thing is like, we never go back to that paradise. She never makes it back. No, well she doesn't Fury if... Road, but she doesn't in this movie. <clears throat> okay, hey, I don't even remember that in Fury Road. But she has this fucking peach pit. You have to plant this and keep the paradise going. Oh yeah, There's yeah. One one peach tree is gonna save the world. <laughs> uh. But yeah, she does end up planting that in Dementis and the no, human cool. soil, <laughs> which I thought she fucking shot him. But anyways, he's there with a tree growing. He's like at the top stuck. of the citadel with like a tree <laughs> yeah. in, his, in his crotch. Yeah, hilarious. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like I said, I liked it, but I just don't. I don't agree with that. I'm getting a lot of overwhelmingly positive, like super positive. Like people are nines and high eights, uh, just praising this like they did um, Fury Road, and I don't think it deserves that kind of praise. Uh, man, for me, it's a seven two. Mm. I liked it, but it wasn't that great? It was fun. It's a fun theater movie. It's no Fury Road, so it's good. Not great. Yeah, I, I, um, Fury Road is a movie that I wouldn't hesitate giving a 10 out of 10. To me, I, I love that movie. I've seen it multiple times. I, I do think it's one of the greatest action movies of our generation. Um, this is, I think Fury Road is like the, you know, maybe the younger generation's T2 or The Matrix. You know, like we grew up with those movies. Those are iconic action movies. I think Fury Road is kind of that for a newer generation. I really do think it's a special action film. And yeah, this movie doesn't, um, doesn't hit the highs that Fury Road does. Um, you know, it's it's interesting because if we would have recorded this yesterday morning, I think I probably would have been closer to you. I think I, when I walked out, I wasn't disappointed because I enjoyed it, but I was like, a lot of things I was hung up on, CG being one of them, because um, I was in my mind a lot. I don't know if this happened to you, but I was in my mind a lot during these scenes. I couldn't like enjoy them for what they were. I was just like, oh, why was that CG? Like I was like very critical during these action scenes. But when I went back into the second time, knowing kind of the aesthetic and everything, I was able to enjoy it more. So I'm actually coming in higher than I probably would have yesterday. Um, I, I liked it way more the second time. that The pacing was better. I was more interested in the characters. I think the action set pieces were that stowaway sequence, that 15-minute action sequence. There is a lot of CGI, but again, once I saw it the second time and I kind of just knew, I was able to enjoy it more. And a lot of great fucking stuff in that in that scene. Um yeah, I liked it way more the second time. I'm I'm coming in way higher than you are. I'm coming in with a nine. I think it's a solid nine. I enjoy wow. the fuck out of it. <laughs> Again, not Fury Road, but yeah, I enjoy the fuck out of this movie. The performances are great from everybody. Yeah, she Anya Taylor Joy is it's a very quiet performance. Oh, another thing I wanted to say is um a lot of prequels have that stupid like you know how like prequels have to explain, you know, how this character, you know, has a scar or whatever. Or it's like Wolverine. This is how Wolverine got his jacket. Or this is how Han Solo yeah. got his name. Like they kind of just come off as cheesy and, and kind of eye rolly. I feel like the the stuff they handle this movie is pretty well done. Like the her losing her arm isn't just like, oh, that's mm-hmm. how she lost her arm. Like there's a lot of like weight and emotion behind it because it's like kind of an emotional scene that happens when she loses her arm. So I I, I do like the aspects of the prequelisms that I think that they're. They work pretty well. The one thing that I noticed the second time was, I don't know how long it's been since you've seen Fury Road, but there's a sequence in Fury Road where she drives the war rig into, the, into a canyon, 
and she's like, hey, I made a deal with these guys. They're going to close off the canyon behind us to cut off a Morton Joe's war party. And we're going to and we're going to give them a bunch of gas in exchange and we're going to be safe. So she drives up in the canyon. She gets out of the car and she's like, all right, 100 gallons of gasoline like you asked for. And they're like, uh, we see fucking <laughs> three war parties after you. We, this is not what we signed up for. And then like an action scene happens. Anyways, those characters show up at the end of Furiosa when the three Dementis gangs split up at the end. And she's like using her binoculars to look at where all three people are going. One of the, the guy that's missing an eye is kind of dressed like a pirate. He gets captured by a motorcycle gang. That is that gang she makes a deal with. <clears throat> and I was like, oh, it would have mm. been cool if they had a scene where Furiosa went to that canyon and made that. Because if you're already setting up Fury Road to uh, literally from the next day, like, you know, it would have been cool to have that scene where she goes to the canyon and says, hey, I'll give you 100 gallons of gasoline if you, you know, if you, you know, close the canyon behind it when we come by tomorrow. But the yeah, maybe it's not necessary, but it would have been cool to like really tie things up. You know what I mean? But anyways, yeah, nine. Yeah. It's a, it's a solid nine for me. I I really enjoyed it. Um, I think I think a second viewing does help if you're willing to watch it again. It is it is a long. It's two and a half hours long. So if you're willing to give it another shot, I think it it does. Uh, it's an easier pill to swallow in the second second go through. Probably not. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I liked it, but I ain't trying to watch it again. Uh, because I remember wa- wa- watching it, and I turned to Jesse, and I was like. Damn, we're still a kid. I was like, "How long is this movie?" Yeah. <laughs> She's like, two and a half hours." I'm like, "Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> it's like, "Damn, we're still in kid mode. We haven't even got to the actress that's on the damn poster yeah. yet." Yeah. <laughs> that was surprising. It's like an hour, I think. For I think yeah, yeah I think it's like it's an like, hour until we get to her. It's a good ass chunk. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I um, I liked it. I just wasn't over the moon about it. So yeah. seven point two and a nine, two very. I knew we were gonna come in all fucking different on this bastard. <laughs> I just knew it. You love these. Uh, I don't know if you necessarily love Mad Max, but I know you love Fury Road. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, I like all of them, but Beyond Thunderdome, which is interesting because I grew up in the we grew up in the eighties. So a lot of my friends, our friends, grew up on. Th- I didn't grow up on Thunderdome, but a lot of. Our friends and people yeah. just they were born in the same time that we are love that movie because it's easily the most accessible Mad Max movie. It's PT thirteen. It's lighthearted, but uh, yeah, it, watching it's Mad Max down. Fury and <laughs> Mad, or Mad Max and Road Warrior, and then going to Thunderdome. It's like this is like a watered down kids movie. Yeah. It's weird. It's for children. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Turner shows up. It's like what the fuck Hell, is going yeah. on? Hee <laughs> hee, what are you guys doing? You fighting in here? <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so 7.29 uh in theaters now go check it out see where you fall on the are you with the majority that thinks this is a uh, amazing or are you like me and just think it's a pretty good movie it's definitely a a good movie it's a definitely a a theater type movie so yeah totally de- definitely going to be a, a good one to see in the theater versus waiting for a streaming or something like that uh yeah, so thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Uh, check us out on YouTube here as always. Uh, please like and subscribe. We're also on Spotify and Apple Music, and uh, we appreciate having you. Love having you. Uh, thank you. Uh, next week we'll be at episode two hundred. Woo! And we have you to thank. And I don't know what we're doing. I can't yeah, remember. I if, was, was there, there's no new was releases there next week. So okay, I know there's a lot of stuff coming up in the next couple months. Though I was. Yeah. All these trailers, all the dates are getting close. I'm like, damn, I'm going to have to go to the theater a lot in the next couple months. So uh, we'll figure out what we're doing, and we'll wrap it up in a beautiful 200 bow. And until the next V's, we'll tell you peace. Peace. Peace.